Hi everyone, this is Linda from the thedutcheskitchen.com. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today, I'm showing you guys another simple a dessert or um, appetizer you can make in a very small time. So let's get into it. And as I said, it's simple and quick because we're using homemade puff pastry. Uh, so I bought this one from the store. You can get any brand you want. And you follow the instructions on it to tour the puff pastry. So this is half of the puff pastry, which has been toured. So it's easy to move around, uh, I mean to open it up and uh, work with it. So first of all, I'm going to put a lot of flour on um, my board right here so that it doesn't stick. Then all what I'm going to do is just to straighten it, stretch it a little bit. So that I can cut them for what we are using today. So we're going to cut um, the sheet into eight. So it's either I'll, you go this way, this into two, then into four. Or you divide it into four and each one into two. So whichever way you want to cut yours, uh, that's okay. Aside, I'll start with the four. So now, what we're going to do is to measure about a quarter of an inch from the outside and just cut, score a line so that will guide us when we are putting our fruit into it. So just uh, just as you score a line, and you do that for all the other ones. I'll transfer this into a baking sheet. So now we're going to So now I have a um, lightly beaten egg right here. I'm just going to brush outside our score line. And I'm doing this before adding our cake. 
cage. So now to our apples, we just slice into two. You can definitely use an apple slicer to slice it. So then I'm going to just use divide it into two and each half into two. Each. Just doing this to get as tiny slices as possible. So the idea here is to get as thin slices of apples as you can. So I like to divide them then cut at least four from each quarter of an apple. So our apples are also done. So we'll move this one aside and bring our tray back. And now this is our Kid. I will link the recipe uh, link below you can check it out so I'm going to spread at least a tablespoon of this into our puff pastry So make sure it's within your score lines. So that during baking, it won't ooze out to keep it there. They're all hanging on top. So we'll, do, we'll use it as it, as it is. We go to a match. At least you want some. You do all the arrangements within the scored lines. And this is the bit thin, thick. Go for a thinner one. Okay. So now our it looks beautiful. You see how the red comes through. So now I'm going to bake this one in a preheated oven for about 15 to 18 minutes until all the pastry, the puff pastry have puffed up and golden brown. Now our apple cake cuts are ready. And as I said earlier, because our puff pastry was a bit thinner, um, we couldn't see it well, but this one came out perfectly. It looks beautiful. So when you bring it out of the fridge, if the oven, um, I just warm a little bit of the apple kid, and I'm going to just brush over it to add some visual appealing to the food.
and a pocket tart and it's beautiful and it's any dessert table will be perfect so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll give it a try you can also use any homemade crust for this purpose as well as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video please like subscribe and share the videos and thank you to all my subscribers as well god bless you bye